MTAP Grade 5 2012 Regional Team Orals taken from the book Math Challenge Questions for Grade 5 pages 22 to 26. Again, this is Grade 5 2012 Regional Team Orals. For the 15 second round, we have 12 questions. Question number one. What is the average of 9.45 and 9.55? Go. Time's up. The answer is 9.5. Question number two. What is the largest number that rounds to 27,500? I repeat. What is the largest number that rounds to 27,500? Go. Time's up. The answer is 27,549. 27,549. Question number three. Find the biggest two-digit number that leaves a remainder of three when divided by seven. Find the biggest two-digit number that leaves a remainder of three when divided by seven. Go. Time's up. Time's up. The answer is 94. The answer is 94. Question number four. A train travels 75 meters in 5 seconds. How far can it go in 16 seconds? Again, a train travels 75 meters in 5 seconds. How far can it go in 16 seconds. Go. Time's up. Time's up. The answer is 240 meters. 240 meters. Question number five. Write 4.625 as in proper fraction in the lowest term. Again, write 4.625 as in proper fraction in lowest term. Go. Time's up. Time's up. The answer is 37 over 8. 37 over 8. Question number 6. How long does it take a cyclist to cover 50 kilometers at a speed of 12.5 kilometers per hour? I repeat. How long does it take a cyclist to cover 50 kilometers at a speed of 12.5 kilometers per hour. Go. Time's up. Time's up. The answer is 4 hours. 4 hours. Question number 7. Dave gave Ken half of his marbles. Ken gave Pete half of the marbles he received from Dave. Dave kept six of the marbles he received and gave the remaining ten to RJ. How many marbles does Dave have? Again, Dave gave Ken half of his marbles. Ken gave Pete half of the marbles he received from Dave. Pete kept six of the marbles he received and gave the remaining ten to RJ. 
How many marbles does Dave have? Go. Time's up. Time's up. The answer is 64. 64 marbles. Question number eight. Anne is thinking of two numbers with the greatest common factor of 6 and least common multiple of 36. One number is 12. What is the other number? I repeat, Anne is thinking of two numbers with the greatest common factor of 6 and the least common multiple of 36. One number is 12. What is the other number? Go. Time's up. Time's up. The answer is 18. The answer is 18. Question number 9. The measures of two supplementary angles are in the ratio of 2 is to 3. What is the measure of the larger angle? I repeat. The measures of two supplementary angles are in the ratio of 2 is to 3. What is the measure of the larger angle? Go. Time's up. Time's up. The answer is 108. 108. Question number 10. Miss Cruz needs 2.5 decimeter of ribbon for each certificate she is preparing. How many meters of ribbon does she need for 92 certificates? I repeat, Miss Cruz needs 2.5 decimeters of ribbon for each certificate that she is preparing. How many meters of ribbon does she need for 92 certificates? Go. Time's up. Time's up. The answer is 23. The answer is 23. Question number 11. What is the average speed of a train that travels 448 kilometers in 8 hours. Again, what is the average speed of a train that travels 448 kilometers in 8 hours? Go. Time's up. Time's up. The answer is 56 kilometers per hour. Answer is... 56 kilometers per hour. Question number 12. Last question for this round. If three apples cost 25 pesos and three pawn cans cost 20 pesos, how much does a dozen of each fruit cost? Again, if three apples cost 25 pesos, and three pawn cans cost 20 pesos. How much does a dozen of each fruit cost? Go. Time's up. Time's up. The answer is 180 pesos. 180 pesos. We now move to the 32nd question round. We have seven questions. Question number one. If 32 mangoes out of 80 are not ripe, what percent of them are ripe? Again, if 30 mangoes out of 80 are not ripe, what percent of them are ripe? Go.
Time's up. Time's up. The answer is 60%. 60-0%. Question number two. I used one-third of my money on Saturday and two-fifths of it on Sunday. I had exactly 28 pesos left. How much did I have at first? Again, I used one-third of my money on Saturday and two-fifths of it on Sunday. I had exactly 28 pesos left. How much did I have at first go? Time's up. Time's up. The answer is 105 pesos. 105 pesos. Alright, question number three. One side of square B is four times the side of square A. What is the ratio of the area of square A to the area of square B? Again, one side of square B is four times the side of square A. What is the ratio of the area of square A to the area of square B? Go. Time's up. The answer is 1 is to 16. 1 is to 16. Question number 4. A cylindrical water tank has an inner diameter of 6 decimeters and a height of 10 decimeters. What is its capacity to the nearest liter? I repeat, a cylindrical water tank has an inner diameter of 6 decimeters and a height of 10 decimeters. What is its capacity to the nearest liter? Go. Time's up. The answer is 283. 283 liters. Question number five. Colored pens are sold in packs of three pens or packs of five pens. What is the least number of packs one needs to have exactly 51 pens. Again, colored pens are sold in packs of 3 pens or packs of 5 pens. What is the least number of packs one needs to have exactly 51 pens? Go. Time's up. Time's up. The answer is... The answer is... 11. 11. Question number 6. What is... Open quantity 1 minus 1 half... Close quantity 
times open quantity 1 minus 1 third close quantity and so forth times 1 th times open quantity 1 minus 1 sixth close quantity times open quantity 1 minus 1 over 7 close quantity again what is open quantity 1 minus 1 half close quantity times open quantity 1 minus 1 third close quantity and so forth times open quantity 1 minus 1 over 6 close quantity times open quantity 1 minus 1 over 7 close quantity go Time's up. Time's up. Time's up. The answer is 1 over 7. 1 over 7. Question number 7. Last question for the 30 second round. How many bottles or how many 250 milliliters of bottles will fill a 5 and 1 fourth liter? bottles again how many 250 milliliters bottles will fill a five and one fourth liter bottle go Time's up. Time's up. The answer is 21. Again, the answer is 21. That concludes the 30-second round. We now move to the final round. One-minute question. March 9 is Tuesday. What day is it? 100 days from March 9. Again, March 9 is Tuesday. What day is it 100 days from March 9? Go. Time's up. Time's up. The answer is? The answer is Thursday. Question number two. Form one two-digit number and one three-digit number using the digits two, three, five, six, and seven, only ones, to get the smallest product. Again, form one two-digit number and one three-digit number using the digits two, three, five, six, and seven only ones to get the smallest product. Go.
Time's up. Time's up. The answer is the t the the numbers are twenty five and three hundred sixty seven. Twenty five and three hundred sixty seven. Question number three. There are five thousand eight hundred forty three books in the library last Monday. During the week. 1,946 books were returned and 1,895 were borrowed. How many books were in the library at the end of the week? Again, how many? Oh, well, there were 5,843 books in the library last Monday. During the week, 1,946 books were returned and 1,895 were borrowed. How many books were in the library at the end of the week? Go! Time's up. Time's up. The answer is 5,894. The answer is 5,894. Question number four. There were as many boys as girls in a room. When 12 boys left, the remaining boys became half the number of girls. How many children were there at the start? Again, when 12 boys, no, there were as many boys as girls in a room. When 12 boys left, the remaining boys became half the number of girls. How many children were there at the start? Go. Time's up. Time's up. The answer is 48. The answer is 48. Question number 5. Two opposite sides of a square were increased by 6 centimeters, while the other sides were each decreased by 6 centimeters. How much did the area change? Again, two opposite sides of a square were increased by 6 centimeters, while the other sides were each decreased by 6 centimeters. How much did the area change? Go.
Time is up. Time is up. The answer is 36 square centimeters. 36 square centimeters. Question number six. The width of a rectangle is 8 meters and the area is 96 square meters. What is its perimeter? The width of a rectangle is 8 meters and the area is 96 meters. What is its perimeter? Go. Time's up, time's up. The answer is 40 meters. 40, 40 meters. Question number seven. A bunch of new 50 peso bills are numbered consecutively from A23486 to A23500. What is the peso value of all the bills? Again, a bunch of new 50 peso bills are numbered consecutively from, from A, 23,486 to A, 23,500. What is the peso value of all the bills? Go. Time's up. The answer is 750 pesos. 750 pesos. Last question for this competition. Jake has 20 pesos more than Pete. Anne has twice as much as Pete. Helen has 80 pesos. If the four kids have 204 pesos together, how much does Anne have? Jake has 20 pesos more than Pete. Anne has twice as much as Pete. Helen has 80 pesos. If four kids have 204 pesos together, how much does Anne have? Go. Time's up, time's up, time's up. 
the answer the answer is 52 pesos 52 pesos now that wraps up our regional team orals for grade 5 for 2012 this is your quiz master dennis saying good luck bye